Good day everyone, my name is Bonito Bartushanas and I will be your instruction for today's class. Before we formally start our discussion, I will be calling a random student from the class to lead the prayer. Mm, Mr. Ali Pao, please lead the prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we come to the Holy Presence this day. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the gift of life. Bless us today as we face another challenges in life. Bless our teachers and give them wisdom as they touch life in their knowledge to us. Thank you for all the blessings that you have showered upon us. Thank you for loving us and keeping us always. Prepare all these things with thanksgiving from our heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Mr. Ali Pao. Okay, class, I want to share something to you all. It's about my opinion and observation about the internet. So the internet has been a very spontaneous, fluid, and forcible tools that influences learning changes, perspective, and alters someone's way of living. Recently, the internet has brought dramatic changes in many fields of life, including education from what I have observed during the COVID-19 pandemic. The role of the internet and the World Wide Web has been strengthened in order to still facilitate and organize transactional that won't really done from person to person. But with this advancement, as students, how much do you guys know about the internet and the World Wide Web? How can you optimize its use in your learning? So, in this lesson, you will be able to learn the emergence of internet and the World Wide Web along with its emphasis on their instructional value. So, our lesson is entitled, The Internet and the World Wide Web. Before we dive into our topic, let us first identify our learning objectives. This lesson aims to provide background on the internet and the World Wide Web with an expectation that students are able to first illustrate the nature and characteristics of the internet and the World Wide Web, second, evaluate the instructional value of the World Wide Web, third, and lastly, the students are expected to create real-life scenarios to illustrate both the positive and the negative use of the internet and the web. So the word internet has been used many times in many occasions, but it has never been seen or reached. So there never goes a day where people never mention or use internet in different occasions but they've never been able to interact or see it. This is because internet binds to millions of other networks. It is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use the internet protocol suits to link millions of devices worldwide. So the internet is like an invisible web cables that connect computers to each other, but we just couldn't see it because it's not visible to the naked eye. The World Wide Web, or all known as WWW, is a system of internet servers that supports specially um, formatted documents in a markup language called HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, that supports links to other documents and other files like audio and video files. So basically, HTML is the most basic building block of the web because it supports the linkage of different files and documents from different computers, which means that H HTML has made the sharing of data possible. So the web may also be defined as an information system that connects documents to documents through hyperlinks that make it um, possible to move from one document to the other. Basically, one may say that internet is like a mega mall with stores inside it which are the websites. 
So from what I have said earlier, the web has made the sharing of data from one computer to another possible. Think of the web as a massive room with more rooms inside of it. Each room contains different documents with which can be opened and shared anytime. So much for that, learning the history of internet and the web is also as important as learning its definitions and differences. So here's a brief development of this useful media. On 1969, the internet was born and a message was sent from two computers at different location. So this is when two different computers was able to connect with each other. On 1971, the first email was sent and on Mosaic became the first web browser. On this time, the first email was sent from a computer to another one. This is when the first web browser has also been invented. In 1989, the World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee. At this time, the famous World Wide Web was introduced. This also marked the start of the advancement of the human civilization. So a principal tool for interaction of the billions of people in this information age, the World Wide Web paved a way to a speedy access as facilitated by the rise of the social media. The development of social media was grouped into three eras, the primitive, and the medieval and the golden era. The primitive era 1970s to 1985 enables the development of news portals and exchange of messages through chats. So this is where it all began. The basic dissemination of information which is the news portals and communication which is message chats. This too started at this year which was very helpful for people because it all became easier for them. There's no need to them to read newspapers and send letters. All became so convenient because of the social media. The medieval era, 1985 to 2000, paved the way to a more advanced and interactive development of social media as file sharing. The golden era, 2000 present facilitates a fast pace and modernized advancement of the social media. The golden era is depicting about the start of a very much advanced version of social media. It is taking about today's technology. At, at this point in time, it is already possible to connect to people from different places much easier. People can now voice call and video chat. The content sharing can now be sent from one person to another in just a matter of second. We were also introduced to different companies like Google, Meta, and many more. These companies has contributed Chrome, YouTube, and Facebook, which also lead to the advancement of today's social media. Until now, there are still many inventions humans have made that facilitates an accessible, strong, and spontaneous exchange of messages from people to people around the world. This were even used to facilitate infor informa information and a relevant knowledge in the field of education. The most essential thing for you to utilize this platform as a learner is knowing the basic internet related terms and concepts that will aid you in operating the complexity of the internet and the web. So here are some internet related terms. Bandwidth, it refers to how many information your connection to the internet can cater. That is measured in BPS or bits per second. ISP, a short for internet service provider. It is the company that gives you internet accessibility. URL, a short for Uniform Resource Locator. It is the global address of documents 
and the other resources on the web. Domain name. It is determines the computers on the internet that appears as part of the URL. For example, the domain name of www.bkmedia.max is fold. It draws line paths of which one will see more content of the page through scrolling. Above the fold is what shows up after a page first loads. Further down is called below the, below the fold. Browser. It is a software used to view web pages such as Opera, Mozilla, Firefox, and Google Chrome. HTML, a short for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a cross-platform language used to create informal web pages. Hyperlink, it electronically connects one page to the other pages on the same website. Internal linking or pages on another website, external linking. Navigation. It is the process which users access information on the internet. This term is used when talking about links, icons, and buttons on your site. PDF. A short for a portable document format. It is first developed by Adobe that creates file format independent on applications or software and hardware for proper viewing. Search engine. It is a program that allows searching documents for specified keywords and flashes a list afterwards. Keep in mind all of you that learning the basic of the internet and the World Wide Web is a necessity of modern living. So as in education, the instructional value of this media has tremendously improved as innovate, innovative approaches started to um, develop. As a matter of fact, Wikipedia legitimacy as an online learning resource for academic events is immensurably attributed to the internet and the World Wide Web. So here are some instructional values and benefits of the internet and the web. Accessibility to knowledge and information. So through the web, students like you guys can now assess knowledge and information conveniently. All you have to do is type some, something in, in the search bar and the, and the information that you'll need will be pre presented to you in just a matter of seconds. And this is very good because students like you guys can now assess the information hustle free which will greatly contribute to your learnings accessibility to instructional resources this means that students can now use specialized formats of a fully accessible textbooks and the other um, curriculum mat materials that can be used by by and with students who are struggling readers for our, or otherwise unable to assess printed text. Opportunity for extended learning opportunities. So the web allows students for the primary acquisition of knowledge and skills through instruction or study outside of the traditional classroom. Example, independent study, private instruction, perfor performing groups, internship, community service, um, apprenticeships, and online courses, support for lifelong learning. So those people who have already graduated can still do an ongoing voluntary and self-motivated pursuits of knowledge for either personal or professional reasons. Next is support for computer-based instruction. Through the web, it is now possible to initiate a computer basis instruction at school. This is a teaching approach that integrates computer software programs with other teaching materials in the classroom, which helps the teachers to effectively impart knowledge to their students. Example of this computer-based instructions are 
tutorials, simulations, and instructional games. Delivery for distance learning programs. So in this time of pandemic, going to school was forbade the government and a distance learning was the only way for the students to learn. Meaning that students can complete some or all of their coursework without having to be physically present in the classroom or on any campus. And efficiency of academic functions like enrollment. So this means that the academic activities organized by the school can now be done online, for instance, the enrollment of the students. For the students to be enrolled at school, they can perform the enrollment without having to be physically present in the campus and they can uh, they can do this now at home through the internet of course utilization of social media application in the teaching learning process the, so the social media isn't only used for entertainment purposes it can also be used to promote self-directed learning which prepares students to search for answers and make decisions independently so when reinforced in a classroom setting these social media skills can be guided and refined to produce better learning outcomes and critical awareness the internet and the web really had provide advantages for the people involved in the academic researches and homeworks are efficiently facilitated using information gathered from countless websites. However, some, if not most, of these websites likely provides inaccurate or outdated information. Thus, as a learner, you have to ensure that the you get really serves you on authentic, precise, and validated information. So that would be the end of our lesson. Before we end this session, would like to give you guys an um, assignment on your course pack module. Can you answer the application and the assessment to be submitted tomorrow? Okay, class, thank you all for listening and goodbye.